Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples, and today I have this fantastic 1989 Mercedes Benz 560 SL Roadster. Uh, I had a little bit of an iPhone malfunction this morning, so uh, I'm filming this with the camera that I usually use to shoot the cars for still photos. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, the sound's okay, and I'm able to hold the damn thing. It weighs a ton. But uh, we'll keep going because I'm very excited about this car. Uh, it was uh, bought from a, you know, I bought it myself. I had to pay a ton for it from a, a Highline new car dealership where it was traded in, fought a bunch of other guys to get it, and uh, I'm very happy I did. For one thing, 89 is the final year of production of these cars. Uh, it's a fantastic story how the 560 SL came to be. Uh, truly one of the last vintage Mercedes in terms of uh, its grace, elegance, engine style. Uh, you know, they've become fantastic collectibles, and finding one uh, in this condition is just such an absolute treat. Uh, it's finished in black outside, classic tuxedo black, fantastic color, and a little bit rare. You don't see black that often, uh, with uh, very nice gray leather inside. Uh, you can see the beautiful uh, chrome uh, uh, flat wheels that came with this car. Actually, I, that, that's part of the story. I don't think these chrome wheels did. I think what happened is a few years ago, a fairly, like, God, listen to those angry, pissed off birds. Where the hell are they? Anyway, uh, I think a few years ago, a very well-to-do gentleman bought this car and uh, made some improvements to it, you know, probably started with a very nice one anyway, and, uh, you know, did the car some tremendous favors. And uh, you can see that in the Carfax with all the dealer service it has, the way that it went through our inspection. Uh, our service manager was very offended. He could find very little to do to it, so I didn't get a giant shop bill, uh, which is nice. And uh, you can just see all these sort of little tidbits that we'll go into that show you just how incredibly uh, well, uh, you know, preserved this car is. So all original paint outside, which is stellar, uh, you know, excellent age relative condition. It's got a few little nicks and chips here and there, of course, but you have to bear in mind that it is, uh, listen to that airplane. God, they always come in right when I'm starting. Uh, anyway, you have to bear in mind this paint is 28 years old, so, uh, you know, for that, it's incredible condition. You know, if you go around it, you'll find a neck or a chip here and there, but uh, it is fantastic to find original condition uh, paint on this car from this year, and very, very collectible. Uh, you can see the chrome and bright work in excellent shape, all the rubber, the trim, uh, the bumperettes, that sort of thing, all look terrific, and uh, those chrome wheels, they're like brand new, and I I suspect they are just a couple of years old. Uh, they are chrome versions of, uh, well, they're the original OE wheels that have been chromed. Dealers would put those on as an option back in 89, so it is very period correct. But usually they're all flaked and nasty looking at this point, and these things look like they're fresh out of the box. Uh, you can see the grill bumpers, great shape. Uh, behind the headlight there, there's no dings. It probably looks like it with a reflection, but there aren't. So nobody tapped the front bumper and, um, you know, hurt anything. All the headlight surrounds, really, really nice. No corrosion anywhere on this car. Uh, you can see the windshield, the chrome's beautiful. Uh, still has these uh, Bosch Sulfur wiper arms, which is uh, nice and a story in itself. A lot of people, they just go into the uh, parts store and buy, you know, what is that, a leaf? Oh, it's a poor moth. Let's, let's rescue this guy. Relax, little buddy. Uh, well, hopefully it'll be all right. Anyway, a lot of people go into the... Um, uh, at the parts store and just buy a replacement arm. They put it on. All of a sudden, you've got black wiper blades on, uh, you know, these original silver arms. The correct way to do it is, of course, to put the inserts into those arms, which this gentleman has done, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So, uh, you know, that kind of stuff is nice to see. Now, uh, because it's an 89, it has this sort of muted third brake light here at the back. Uh, 88s and 89s had that. The earlier versions, forget it. They had these big things that looked like mobile home AC units. Now, uh, you can see it has a black trunk. It's got <coughs> original equipment, Mercedes mats. Uh, inside this box here was uh, some uh, add-ons for the Becker. We'll get into that in a minute. Here's a first aid kit. These are great little Mercedes accessory seatbelt guides. I took them out because I don't like them, but uh, I'll leave them with the car if you do. 
All right, and here uh, you can see the battery box intact, the straps nice, everything proper, the jack is there. Uh, the carpet back here is fantastic, doesn't look like it's been beat up. Uh, if you get up and under here, there is the original spare tire, doesn't look like it's ever been out of the car. You got your tool bag, uh, no corrosion at all, everything just fantastic. Uh, this car also has all of its original VIN stickers, and what those are is the VIN is stamped here. That prevented theft, uh, you know, back in the day, and it also tells you that the car is all original uh, with no new sheet metal. So you've got one here, uh, you got one up under there, you got another one up under here. I'm not sure if you can see this the way the light is, but there is a sticker there. Uh, on the bottoms of both bumpers and uh, inside both doors and then on the hood. So let's get over there and show you that. Then we'll get inside. So to open the hood, you put your hand in on the left side, flip there. I'm getting in a little bit of a rush because um, I've got the sun coming up and it's no good. It's gonna ruin our filming. Uh, anyway, you see the VIN sticker there in the back of the hood. You got one there in the right fender and one over there in the left fender. And uh, otherwise, you can see everything under the hood is in fantastic shape. Very, very nice. Uh, this is a 5.6 liter engine, putting out about 230 horse. And uh, the engine does have a bit of a story because back in uh, 81 through 85, uh, they did not offer the 500 SL here, uh, just the uh, the 380 SL. They had a 500 SL in Europe, so Americans always wanting more power. Uh, you know, they did all of these gray market cars, so they'd buy the thing in Europe, they'd bring it over here, and of course the U.S. dealers went bananas. So, uh, in response, Mercedes took the 5.6 liter out of their big S class. Uh, shoehorned it into this uh, terrific roadster and created the 560 SL, which was then not sold in Europe, so all the Europeans came and took them back over there. So kind of a cool uh, little sub-story. Uh, what I'm going to do now is pause it for a second so we can get the uh, soft top up and in place. I'll show you that, then we'll get it back down, and uh, we'll go inside and then go for a spin. All right, so here it is with the soft top up and in place. You can see it's a black uh, soft top to match the uh, the car and one thing that I love seeing which I feel is absolutely fantastic on this car is it is the original soft top that came with it all the way back in 1989 uh, and it sort of tells the story or the continuing story about the very soft life this car has led uh, you can see here uh, that little uh, stamp and label with the Mercedes star that's not something you can replace. When that's gone, it's gone. Uh, even if you buy a soft top from Mercedes-Benz, it's not going to have that. The only way that uh, is still on the car is it's the one that came with it. So bearing in mind that this soft top is uh, 28 years old, which is absolutely incredible. So it shows, again, uh, just sort of the soft life this car has led. You can see uh, absolutely flawless, no holes, no tears, very few wrinkles even, just uh, a very, very nice top. Uh, the tiniest bit of yellowing on the, uh, on the glass, sorry, the plastic in the back, very, very acceptable, very proper, and uh, exceptional for uh, collectability. Uh, you would not replace this top under any circumstances unless the, uh, uh, you know, it became unmaintainable that there were holes in the in the plastic or whatnot. So incredible to see that. Very, very nice stuff. Uh, let me show you also underneath just how nice it is. Uh, the frame, beautiful. Uh, the headliner, exceptional. Uh, no tears, no sagging. Uh, exactly what you want to see for collectability on your 107. So uh, let's get that soft top back down and keep going. All right, soft top back down. That's the way I like to see this car anyway. And uh, let's have a look in here. So in addition to the original paint and the original top is the original leather, which is an exceptional condition. Uh, also nice to see it in lovely gray, which is a fantastic contrast with the black outside. Uh, you can see everything looks really, really nice, tight and proper. Uh, you know, this is such a well-maintained car. Uh, you know, if you could, it could pass for a 30,000 miler. And in fact, uh, 
uh, you know, one of the famous things with 560 SLs is the odometers would quit working on them. So sometimes guys would drive them for years and years uh, with broken odometers. They'd, you know, fix them right at the end before they traded them in and voila, you know, a car would have 70 or 80,000 less than it should have. So uh, there's a lot of 150,000 mile cars out there parading as, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 mile cars. You have to be pretty careful. If you look at the Carfax on this one, you see a very nice steady progression of mileage and uh, you know it is a true honest uh, 107,000 mile car and it could easily pass for one with half those miles that's how well it's been looked after uh, now you can see on the door panels beautiful dove gray it's got these little perforation holes there uh, which, uh, you know, when you've got the AC or the heat going, it blows into the door through these uh, big vents here and sort of emanates from the perforations, uh, which will help keep you, you know, cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Just a nice feature. And being, uh, you know, of course, classic Mercedes styling engineering, it's got these beautiful chrome caps on the doors. Uh, it's got a power uh, passenger mirror with a manual driver mirror because you're right there. You don't need a power one. Very typical German uh, thinking there in the engineering department. Uh, lovely big clunky knobs and switches to move everything all in great shape. Beautiful chrome and uh, of course listen to the way the doors close. Like bank vaults. Okay here in the package shelf in the rear uh, everything in excellent shape, looks lovely, uh, no issues of any kind, and uh, anything you see there is just, um, you know, carpet fading, not fading, sorry, carpet uh, graining, <laughs> brush it in the other direction, it's fine. Uh, dashboard in great shape, no cracks up top, something of a miracle. Uh, you can see how nice and orange the gauges are. Uh, you know, on cars that have spent their life outside, those are going to fade to yellow and uh, finally to white and look terrible. Uh, these things look crisp, nice, orange, proper, lovely to see. Let me grab the key, and we'll hop inside. Ah, here comes that sun. It really does blow up the filming, so uh, you get the key in, close the door, and let's see what we got. So, uh, a beautiful leather-wrapped steering wheel, lovely. Uh, airbag because that's 89 and Mercedes-Benz was introducing airbags to the world at that point. A beautiful vintage gauge cluster, just so nice. You know, that's the thing about this car is the styling is so vintage. It looks like it was, you know, a 1960s model, which in fact it would have been designed in the 60s. This was one of the longest running cars in Mercedes history from uh, 72 all the way through to uh, to 1989. So, uh, you know, the car was drawn by Bruno Sacco in probably 1965. And uh, that's one of the things that makes these such great classics is it's a fairly modern car. Uh, that you could drive comfortably to California, even as things like airbags and ABS brakes. Uh, but, uh, you know, it does give you that vintage look that, uh, that you want. So a very nice uh, sort of uh, dichotomy uh, duality there with the car. Uh, you can see all the hieroglyphics in great shape, haven't been rubbed um, off by, you know, brutal, vicious owners who grip those things too hard. The steering wheel, fantastic condition. Temperature display in Fahrenheit, nice. No, you know, water intrusion into it. All the knobs. Uh, this Becker uh, was, let's see if I can see it down here. It's got an add-on auxiliary. Uh, which means that this guy went out and spent hundreds of dollars on a refreshed, restored, and upgraded Becker radio for the dash, which is the kind of ownership that I like to see. So this thing works flawless. Power antenna works good. Uh, everything nice there. Uh, you can see the lumber, the wood's in great shape. Absolutely lovely. All original, never been changed. Another testament to the soft life of this car. Uh, window switches not rubbed down a little bit of crack here, you know all very normal patina uh, This thing could be completely exploded like the Mojave Desert on a bad one. So uh, This thing is just in fantastic shape inside the glove box nice set of books We got three keys with it the top tools uh, up top the sun visors you can see nice still in there not all blown apart the way they can be and uh, Everything just super inside this car so you see that big V8 fires right to life. Oil pressure shoots up the way you want it to. Uh, runs nice and smooth. 
Uh, no vibration at all. Of course, the motor mounts, tranny mounts, all that stuff's been done. Shouldn't say tranny mounts. Uh, anyway, over there you see the mirror, nice shape, door panel, passenger seat. Man, this is just a super nice car. And I love the subtle curvature of the hood, the way that's been designed. Uh, you know, the elegance of this car is uh, absolutely unsurpassed. And away we go. All right, so now we're rolling in our two-seat uh, Mercedes Roadster, our R107. Goes down the road beautifully, no vibration, no pull. Uh, you know, I hit the brakes pretty good to stop here. There's no, uh, you know, none of the run-out stuff. We've got a busy morning here. Uh, motor, instant response, no hesitation. Perfect shifting from the four-speed automatic. Everything, uh, you know, gauge-wise, nice and where it should be. Good um, oil pressure, good water temp. Uh, again, this thing is just in such great mechanical and cosmetic condition. See plenty of pep out of that big V8. That's what the American customers wanted. They got it. And uh, everything's lovely. Going down the road, wind in my hair, two seats, uh, you know, collectability enhanced. This is just a fantastic car. So, uh, again, if you have an interest, 1989 Mercedes-Benz 560SL Roadster, uh, black over gray, uh, just turned 107,000 miles. God, listen, that's not me. That's the brakes on that damn, uh, whatever the hell it is, Buick up there. Uh, anyway fantastic car. Uh, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Thank you so much for having a look. We really appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.